Welcome to the Only Company podcast on the internet. It's the Coffee Jelly Hour, episode 81. I'm Tony, and I'm joined by Ace, Matt, and Seth. We're preaching caffeine, motherfuckers. How are we doing? Are we... I am actually preaching caffeine. Yeah, oh, me well, too, me too. I'm I've, drinking some coffee. I've, I've just preached caffeine, so I've actually finished mine. So let's, uh, How about you, Ace? I have pink lemonade. Yeah, that'll do. Nice. That'll Fuck do. you. That'll do. That'll do. God. It's, yeah. Not even close. No, it's terrible. So anyway, listen guys, Matt posted something the other day, I only Mm -hmm. saw it today, and let let me me tell you what he said, he said, can my two-ish acres secede, I want to be my own country, my country would be awesome, right, and I kind of, I thought, you know what, if I created my own country, what would it be, what would like the main kind of, sort of, theme of it be, I was just wondering what yours was, let me tell you what mine is. My, my theme, right, for my country, right, firstly, mm-hmm. firstly, Halloween twice a year, Christmas twice a year, but no re- <laughs> no religious bullshit, <laughs> just all the fun stuff. That's what I'm thinking initially. And then secondly, after so we get those holidays sorted, both twice a year, secondly, um, McDonald's will serve breakfast all day, because I don't know about America, but here in the UK, they stop at fucking 10.30 in the morning. No, oh all day breakfast a... here in America. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they've recently changed it. Oh, really? Well, no, 10.30 here. Although, say, talk about McDonald's. I took advantage of that yesterday. Oh, really? What What? what time? Yeah. What time was that? Uh, it was like uh, 2 p.m. Oh, that's fucking great. I'd say, I know. I mean, we've got kids, so by the time we get our fucking shit together, it's kind of like, right, should we, oh, fucking hell, it's quarter to 11. You know, it's kind of one of them type of fucking things. Mm-hmm. Actually, talking about McDonald's, did you hear about uh, some of the McDonald's workers going on strike here in the UK uh, because of uh, low pay and bad conditions? So, yeah, that's all, no, no. all happening. Anyway, that's my second Ooh, thing. Sounds about right. And my last thing, right, my last thing, I want to outlaw marriage because it's just a fucking shitty government contract. It's a load of bullshit. And also, I want to outlaw marriage because I've just been to a wedding this weekend. <laughs> and <laughs> it was okay, but you know, I'm fucking full of a cold. I'm, I feel absolutely shit today from shaking people's hand hands at the wedding and kissing at the wedding. It was, I just, I, honestly, I've caught fucking some type of shitty fucking cold virus thing so yeah i want to outlaw that so that would be my country there you go there yeah. you go so that's that's i think yeah i think they're, they're, they're the strongest points of, of my country what, what about you guys have you got any thoughts about your two and a half acres matt well i just i was like you know what i'm tired of being part of america right now so right, can yeah. i just be my own country where like everything is pretty much okay except killing babies and stuff like that <laughs> like yeah sure that's a like lot of room yeah, at my house, a lot of room to play with. At my house, <laughs> like people could come, like hang out, and like I could have you know gay weddings. Although gay weddings are okay everywhere nowadays, they haven't taken it back yet. I don't In think fact, anywhere. Only gay weddings, no straight weddings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no, only no, gay no, weddings. People no could come weddings. to my yard and just have gay weddings. No nope, weddings. Nope, nope. No. No I would weddings. Big gay weddings I'm in my backyard, I'm and I would not. A, no, and uh, it's like, oh, hey, you want to like do some drugs I don't care it's your body yeah, you can come yeah. to my country and do that, some yeah. drugs they, they yeah. might catch you as soon as you drive out of my driveway into the yeah. United States again but like you whatever you just get high in your country yeah yeah, yeah I'm liking this, that you know and I'm not like this, yeah. I'm not all about drugs for me but I don't need to tell other people what to do with their body so exactly, whatever yeah, come yeah, on I'm over not, here I'm, I'm, I'm the same not into drugs mm-hmm. but yeah hey if you want to take drugs that's fine Okay. Yeah, let's yep. let's make it legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm so like pretty it. much it's pretty much it's just like and you know you know I just don't have to deal with everybody else's stuff and I would be a, a sovereign nation and I'd still have to work in the United States like yeah. so I'd still have to use United States currency I guess unless I printed mm. my own and exchanged it but man my money would be worth a lot so because I'd the be just me <laughs> max dollar. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that'd be good. I'd, I'd, I'd like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm interested in your country. It, and, it, it's basically just me yeah. being just tired of dealing with everybody else's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh no. Yeah. I, no, I completely understand that. I'd be like, yeah, I'd love to create my own country. That would be fucking great. What about you, Seth or Ace? Any any ideas? Would you? Uh... So I mean, I'm thinking a lot about race. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and. Like it's. Should we stop? We stop you now before you get full on sort of racist. No, no, go no, on. No, don't, don't stop. <laughs> All right, okay. Me. Everyone, shut up. Okay. I have some things to okay. say. Okay. 
So there's nothing wrong with being black. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, you can't you can't decide to be white. You don't have that decision. No, Otherwise, yeah, yeah. it's an abomination. Yeah. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have CRISPR now, and I'm thinking like we can just genetically modify everybody to be beautiful. Okay. Right. Okay. So like we can just make everybody in my country white. And blonde, and blonde. Oh, no. Okay. You know, yeah, it's fine. Uh, yeah. No you know, will be racist spe- spe- speaking of, of black going to white, <laughs> white right? Sammy Sosa turned white, yeah. the baseball player. Sammy oh, really? Sosa. It was weird. Yeah. I didn't know this until recently, but he apparently Good uses a he apparently uses a bleaching cream, and I what? I was like, oh, this is so weird. Skin yeah. bleaching. Oh, yeah. that is that is. Is it like the Michael I, uh, Jackson? I, I actually, very, very recently, like in the, the span of like the last three days, I was actually called a pedophile because I like Michael Jackson. Oh, oh that's weird. You were called. That, to talk about talk about the incredible dexterity it takes to come to that conclusion. Wow. Wow, I, yeah, I, I'm trying I, to take I, it I through. Made, I made an observation about how uh, oh. I find myself enjoying uh, yeah. Latter Day Michael Jackson well, more and more. Hold on, it's not like it, it's no, you're not. You don't like Michael Jackson. You enjoy his music, even. That, that's a yes. fucking bigger I mean, the, leap. To the, the, well, the observation I made, and it was like, well, the, the problem is, is that he's a pedophile, and it's like, I, it's not my business. You can, you gotta well, separate the art from the he's... artist at some point. Yeah, but not only that, wow. it's debatable whether or not he. What I mean, and and you you hit you hit something there. It's debatable, and that has nothing to do with if I like the last four albums of his career. Wow, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Very, true. Really, very true. It's really safe to enjoy his music now that he's dead. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, it's not like you're encouraging anything. It's not yeah. like you're supporting him. You, you're not giving you, him money, he, whether, basically. Whether yeah. I'm supporting him or not, that has nothing to do with the conversation of me saying, I like those last couple of albums wow. a lot. Yeah. And then it was like, well, it's too bad he's a pedophile. And it's like, well, it's too bad that's not relevant. And it's yeah. like, well, the problem is that kind of thinking is, is basically accepting it. And it's like, yeah. so you're... Yeah. You're, what? I know, I know what you're saying, but like, remember Gary Glitter? And he's is he in prison? Is he for fucking fiddling with kids? Like no one kind of listens to his mm. music anymore, didn't he? What was that Christmas song? Well, well, uh, more importantly, if you like Adam Sandler movies, you're a pedophile. <laughs> because Go in on. the movie Happy Gilmore, right. the song by Gary Glitter, the do do do, hey do do, yeah, do was yeah. used in Happy Gilmore. Which and means Adam Gary Sandler. Glitter is a pedophile, yeah. so yeah. by makes watching Adam Sandler a pedophile, yeah. which makes you a pedophile for watching Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore is basically child porn, <laughs> is what we're getting at here. If you really think about it, if you watch Happy Gilmore, you should be arrested. <laughs> You're pretty much yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I I'm I'm so I'm I'm so. I don't want to get like into discussions of politics, but I'm so lambasted Let's talk by about how pedophiles last week. Uh, we talk about pedophiles every week. Every week. Every week. You know, you know yeah. we we ought to we ought to remake Ghostbusters with pedophiles. We are the uh, number one oh, uh, pedophile um, podcast. No, 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 that's wrong. Stop, that's wrong. Stop. Sorry. Sorry. My, my problem is though is is uh, I am now in a unique position of my life where I am interacting with people who are both pro this this form of like social justice thinking and anti this and now I've just realized that everybody in the world is stupid because on the other on the other side you're only just coming to this the the problem is with the people who aren't social justice warriors is Mm. you get this you get this mentality where people go like well I don't understand why you can't just accept that uh, being gay is a minority I why does that how does that do how does that detract my argument? I just you always want to like insert your political opinion where it doesn't belong in something, like as if it gives you authority. I didn't even talk about my sexual preference. What wow. are you what how is this uh, you Clinton supporters, am I right? <laughs> what w- w- okay? <laughs> and then on the other end I really I really like how you say pedophile. I know, I know. You know, I was I was thinking do I Pedophile. Pedophile. Pedo. Pedophile, Peter. You mean the? It's co- like somebody named Peter is a Peter. 
pedo. Yeah, yeah. He's a so you, sex offender. You, you like the way I correctly pronounce the word pedophile. No, thank you. I, I'll take that as a compliment. Pedophile. I know. I mean, I know. It, work, it works better than I, pedophile, because pedophile sounds like you're just getting pedo. off to people stepping. Yeah. <laughs> I know, mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> I, as, as you start that conversation, I was thinking, do I call them pedophiles? Do I go with that? Yeah. I mean, why are we having a conversation? I, like, I guess I, you I, be respectful. I, I started yeah. it because I, I brought in the mic. Well, I don't think <laughs> I don't know. Totally Seth, you guys. Seth started it with his whitewashing. With, yeah. his, with his fucking ca- with his, with his, with his, with his casting culture. of of white people in Asian roles and all this shit, and then I I mentioned about how my enjoyment of Michael Jackson is my endorsement apparently uh, of uh, of that, and then it turned into us talking about just just going back to the, the point I was going to make before about Gary Glitter that that really famous fucking Christmas song he made has now just gone. And no one plays it, and no radio station plays it. And I was I gonna say, I can't even think of what he, it he is. Made rock and roll, he, rock and roll Christmas. I think. How it does it go? Because uh, the oh, only I song I know is on the da da no. da. In in the UK, it was a really famous song until he basically got charged with child porn and whatever else, and now uh, it's just disappeared. And I guess it's because he's been charged and he's doing prison time. And that's the well, reason he, his he, music's he gone. A, I, I'm a Gary Glitter Jackson, expert. Because Mike, Mike Gary Jackson Glitter was wasn't charged yeah. once; he was charged like four times. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because because the first time it was like he went into the the this computer store and he's like, "My computer's broken." Oh. And then they like they like took one look at it. It had all the child porn on it, and they're like, "Uh, FBI." Yeah. And then the, then they, the oh, FBI was geez. like, "Well, you're famous, so we're not going to arrest you, but you're under house arrest. Just you know, don't do anything." And the first thing he did. Was book a trip to Thailand to oh, fuck kids? Jesus Christ! Ooh, like, when, like, like while on house arrest, and yeah. it was like, oh, Gary. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's a new, yeah. t- it's a new TV series called Oh Gary about Gary Glitter. I'm not sure who's playing Gary Glitter. Um, I know, Gary. It's, it's a reality TV show. Oh it's, yeah, yeah, that's right. It is I'm hosted wrong, hosted by yeah. Gordon Ramsay because doesn't yeah. he host all of your guys' he does, shows? He does. He does. He's, he's on that's every what I channel. hear. Yeah. Him or um, yeah, there's one other one too, but I can't remember who I'm the, thinking the, of. The, the, the guy who does that driving show. What the fuck is that shit called? Oh, uh, um, Top Gear. Yeah, oh, Top Gear. Oh, yeah. Why can't I remember his name? Yeah, I don't know. He, podcast, he, he, we mm, talked mm, about my uh, my sitcom about two pedophiles. <laughs> have we? <laughs> we probably I have in the past. Know. It stars uh, Zach Braff and that that guy who played Raymond. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> okay, Raymond. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Who's his star? Who's his star? Oh no! <laughs> that oh. guy. Oh. Get that boy! Yeah. I'm a pedophile. <laughs> They're trying to have sex with kids, but they, they never. <laughs> they never, never quite out right. manage it. It all goes wrong, no. doesn't it? This, I'm this embarrassed because I remember this conversation. Yeah, I vaguely with you. remember it. I vaguely remember it. Because my 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 pitch is that they try to pick up on each other like through the internet, and they're both faking as being underage girls <laughs> to try to appeal to another underage girl. And then when they meet up, it's just like, oh, this is awkward. Um, are, are, are you Jessica? Jessica Candy Girl? Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, no. You know what? I mean, Just... I bought a bunch of Jolly Ranchers. What am I going to do with all of these? It's going to take me weeks to eat this entire bag. <laughs> Side splitting sitcom. Created by Sam. I mean. Nowadays, it actually doesn't seem like that would be that fucking hapless. I mean, I Christ. I, oh, I bet yeah. Netflix would fucking buy that in a heartbeat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, they wouldn't buy I it. They'd the the create it. It, it. it basically would be a Netflix show, wouldn't it? Fucking hell. Can I just talk about Netflix? How many shows are they fucking creating? It's ridiculous. I've got to the point uh, now where all the shows. everything is Netflix. Everything is. I was like, ah, there's some good stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's, there's some. Shut yeah, like my off. like my two pedo dads. That's, that's the <laughs> <laughs> what was what was the name you came up with, Ace? I forgot. It was something like I, that. I, I, <laughs> just just kidding around or something or just kidding. Oh just yeah, kidding. just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> just, just kidding. kidding. <laughs> no. Oh yes. God, this is getting. Where, how do we get onto this subject anyway? Look, it was Ace. Oh. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I think. Um, 
I, th- I think on. I, I think my, my other embarrassing thing was that I well, believe I thought you when you when you said Zach Braff, I think he, I thought you meant uh, what is it, Joe Rogan or whomever, like the guy who. Uh, oh uh, shit! Plot. So I actually originally thought that that was who you were referring to. So uh, I imagined him doing stoner humor mixed with pedophile hey. humor. Oh yeah, yeah. That that Joe would work. Ro- you mean Seth Rogen? Yeah, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. I said Joe Rogen, and he does yeah. a podcast. Yeah, that's the but, thing that we're doing. It's near right Stone. It's near Stone as well. Move. Joe Rogan. I think he's a stoner as well. So Probably. I think I, yeah. I think, I think everybody. Or. I think everybody is now. Being a stoner is the in thing oh, these days. God. Yeah. Ever since Kevin Smith rolled into town with his jorts. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, Kevin Smith, Joe... Uh, actually, Seth Rogen, I think, was probably the first, like, big major, like... Woody Harrelson? Not... Oh, yeah, yeah, Woody. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I guess so, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. All the Woodies, Woody Nelson? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You mean Willie Nelson, but okay. Woody Snoop? Uh, Wo- Woody Woodpecker? Total Snoop Stoner. Snoop Dogg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm thinking of another Woody. Woody from Toy Story? Total Stoner, yeah. Go on. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, we'll carry mm-hmm. on. We, we, there's a long list of uh, stoner woodies, basically, really. So, uh, anyway, on the subject of stoner woodies, I think we should do some fan fiction. Oh, you think so? I don't see the connection, but we should. No, no, yes. no, no. There's a character, there's an OC in this called Woody. I've, I on, forgot on, that this on. is the story that. I've just is got an terrible. email. I've got an email. You forgot that this is the story. They're all really Ace. How really? did you forget? <laughs> I think. I think. Hell. I think the record so far is that every single time we take on one of these one of these fan fiction stories, go like, well, nothing can be worse than that, and then we just it's been a decision. We find them. We find them. We find worse ones and worser and worser. That's not a real word, but I can't like using it. Um, right, we're actually on chapter ten, uh, which means we've, after this we've only got seven chapters left. Jesus, right? We do. So, do we all know what we're doing and what's happened? Only Not... seven chapters. Oh left my! I don't know what we're gonna do. Many? I don't oh even know who God. the fuck I was because uh, I was, I was genuinely drunk when we were when we recorded Andrew. last. Oh week. yeah, yeah, you were, yeah, you were, you were, yeah. Probably Andrew and maybe others. We'll just. We'll I, just I, I, I think I had two, but I don't fucking care. <clears throat> probably I had else. Andrew and, and like and, and like sex machine or. It's been a week. Yeah. I don't know. I have no yeah. idea. Oh, you were Woody Who's as well. Flame? Woody. Stone of Woody, you were as well. Who's Flame? Flame. Caves have brought flames. I don't know. Does Ace want to be Flame? No, Flame was the new character that was introduced. Remember the biker? I remember oh, that wait. much. How can you remember who that? Is who is it? I don't though? know. Who, who oh, he turned it? up. He turned up. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It wasn't, that. It wasn't me. Um, it might have it been. It must have been you, Seth. I think it was you. But what voice what was the did voice? I use? Uh, I should listen to our podcast. Think I Eric. Don't know. Think Eric. Think Eric. Oh no! Don't listen to our podcast because you're going to find out that we haven't been releasing them. We've just been scrapping them. It's just we we, we just do this for fun. I mean, I, I, me I, I, I <laughs> yeah. There's there's, there's 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 a certain peace of mind in that, where it's just like oh, yeah. it's all it is. Seth, people the, don't know how terrible we are. Seth, this is just therapy for you. We, we're, we're all paid to do this. Pretend. <laughs> you know this, this you pretend know people podcast. do know how terrible we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the problem. Oh. Do, you ever, oh. do you ever wonder what happens to like old wrestling babes? Like recently, I heard a name <laughs> that I haven't heard since the '90s. Sable. She was like, she was like this hot wrestling chick from the WWF Attitude Era. Her name is Sable. Oh. Oh, I, right. I think she's dead now. Blonde. No, yeah. she's not there. I'm looking now. She's age fifty. She, she's still she alive. was the she was the thing. She's not though. dead. No, I, I remember being like in fifth grade or and whatever, that, and and like don't. all the boys were like, "I want to slap her titties oh, around." Geez. The well, one I always liked the best back when I watched wrestling was um, I want to say Trish Stratus, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm looking her up real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just yeah Trish photos. Stratus, I like oh, yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nice, and, nice. Um, well, you, you know the TV series Glow? There was a documentary um, about the real. I have that documentary. Oh, uh, shit. Well, you know what? If, yeah. There's like one of uh, them. Not, I don't own it. It's on my Netflix. Yeah. Um, it's worth watching. One of them is in a wheelchair. I want to watch it so bad. Wheelchair and stuff, and they talk about their injuries yeah. and stuff like that. Is, like, is it oh. Sable? Is she in a wheelchair? China's no, dead. No, I don't know. China's dead. China's definitely. Oh dead. yeah, yeah. She, oh no. 
Oh, this is a bit. This is a bit depressing. She had a really distended clitoris. Yeah, she did. It was like mm -hmm. a female penis. Is that how she died? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was. It was tragic. Oh. Ugh. Yeah. She, she slipped on it. Oh yeah, it's dragging on the floor. W women have been really <laughs> grossing me out Tripped lately. Over it. What? Well, women. Women, is, a, women have been grossing me out lately. I just gotta throw that out there. Just the concept what? of women gross me out lately. Just the concept. Nothing. Yeah. Just generally women. Just, just, I, I, I want to pursue this, but at the same time, I don't know if I, I mean, want to pursue this. There's nothing to pursue. Does your wife it's listen just, to this? It's, it, it's just <laughs> when I don't sleep for long periods of time, I guess I become progressively gayer. I'm like, oh, I'm, okay. like I'm like, I'm like okay. Doctor Jekyll and Mister. I'm trying to think of a derogatory word for gay that isn't fag, Dr. but Jekyll and I, I, I don't know why. Just, just, uh, just lately, just lately, I've been. Uh, oh, I've hold been, on, hold on. I've been, I've been hold grossed on. out by the concept of vagina. I, I've got oh, one. Okay. Do okay. Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde, come and find me. No. Okay. No. That was a, that was a stretch. That was yeah, a stretch. I know, that's the best I could do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't know. Why am I? Why am I talking about Mr. my sexual? Stretch is good. Mister Str Mister Stretch. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong, right? Shall we, Mister yeah. Mister Buttons? That's that's what that's what I'll, I'll go by, Mister Buttons. That'll be. That'll See be now I'm, ass. man. Now I'm stuck looking up old where uh, all the old uh, wrestling divas are these days. Dead. The, the, the old the, the, You're starting to connect the dots. And you're oh. like, oh my god, what's happening? Oh shit! Well, yeah, Someone's well, behind this. China. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, okay. anywho. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Right, I best uh, we best get on with chapter ten of the amazing world of Gumball: The Risen Dead. Chapter ten, Embers of Secrecy. I, I missed when it was just Taywog. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Taywog, the Risen Dead. I can't wait for him to turn up, big demon. Uh, chapter ten, Embers of Secrecy glow dimly. It's not how you spend spell dimly, is it? It's not right. Kaiser brought flame to the floor. They were on. And sat him down to talk. Kaiser brought flame to the floor. They were oh right, okay, the yeah, floor of the building. They were on and sat him down to talk. I'm sorry. Okay, so why did you come here? Kaiser asked. I came to talk about our camp. Flame said. I think that was it. Yeah. Uh, is this Kaiser? Uh, yeah, I think it is. We just moved here. We can't. Who is this? Flame. This is fl Flame. Flame, okay. I guess. Oh, no, hold on. The one before was Gumball. Oh, oh okay. that was Gumball. Oh, yeah. eh, That's fine. Whatever. We just moved here. We can't... I didn't say you had to move to our camp, but I will be checking up on you weekly to see if you changed your mind. Flame said, cutting Gumball off. But if you're planning on getting supplies around here, wear these. Flame said, handing everybody yellow bandanas. Why right. do we need these? <laughs> Gumball asked. I read, that, <laughs> I read that as bananas and then just quickly corrects myself. You wear them so we don't accidentally shoot you. Flame said. Shoot us? Why the hell would you do that? Gumball asked. Oh god. Oh my god, it's, it's just Seth talking to himself. The <laughs> yes, it's Seth. <laughs> no, there is, more. there is more, there's more, there's more. Have you been living in a damn cave for the last week? Flame yelled. Because anybody without these bandanas, these headbands, one is dead. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how many other have, how many other groups have these headbands? Kazer asked. Do. Flame replied. Kazer took note of that in the little notebook. Hey, did you used to go to Elmore High School? Carrie asked. Yes, I did. How did you know? Flame asked. Mm, just a hunch. Carrie replied. I feel like you sucked your dick behind the dumpster once. Flame stood <laughs> up. I feel like that too. <laughs> well, if you have <laughs> any more questions, ask them quick. Flame said hastily. Nobody said anything. Asked anything. Okay, I have to go. Flame said, walk into the exit. There's been a thing. 
while well, you're doing your your, your Christian Bale voice, <laughs> I, I, I I I rewatched an episode of the Batman animated series because I love that show. And I was watching a couple of episodes. Yeah. It's a brilliant show. It's, it's it holds up wonderfully, and it reminds me that Christian Bale is the worst Batman we've ever had. Yeah, and I would love. I, I almost wish that Christian Bale had a sense of humor because I would love to hear him try to read some of the beautiful, well spoken <laughs> lines from that show, oh. but in his voice. Like, because, cause, you know, oh. Kevin Conroy had this very commanding, and he, you know, he, he had a very dramatic and good performance. I would love to hear that performance being done as, you know, you know the problem with you, Joker, is that you're. It's just, oh, man. <laughs> there are so many really it beautiful monologues that are just like, they give you chills because, like, Kevin Conroy, <laughs> you know, he has this, like, he has this, 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 this uh, commanding presence. He has this really good voice, mm. and it's just. You know, you have Cookie Monster. So <laughs> funny. Yeah, I forgot he didn't talk like that. He just had a normal yeah. voice. Yeah. 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 yeah the, the big uh, distinction <clears throat> was his his Bruce Wayne was a little bit more uh, swingy. He he had a little bit more of like oh, Alfred, whatever. And then when he was Batman, oh, he just talked God. was a bit more of a serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bloody wait, awful. Uh, wait! You're leaving so soon. You just got here. You can't be leaving already. Lexi said. It's getting late. By the way, don't go out at night. Flame said, opening the door. I am the night. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> also, lock everything up. Flame walked out. Kazer locked up as he left. Everybody then continued with their chores and their time wasting activities. Flame's point of view. Oh, no. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, I gotta go before they come out. Flame thought to himself, <laughs> looking upon the sky, the sun was setting. Flame started up his motorcycle. He then put on his mask and started down the road. Half an hour later, almost out of the city, he noticed a shimmering glare. Suddenly, a shot rang out and hit his bike. Shit. He said, slowing his bike and bailing off it just in time two because another shot rang out and a bullet grazed his right side. He pulled out his assault rifle ran through and knelt behind his bike just as he saw the person with the rifle and went to pull the trigger somebody grabbed him wrapping their arms under his and restraining him. He was a big white rat with sunken in red beady eyes. Hot. Get off of me. Flame said trying to break free. Who would like to be the rats? Uh, uh, yeah, I will. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> you got some fresh meat on those bones. The rat said, <laughs> licking the side of his face. You're more comfortable with like high pitched voices. <laughs> yeah, I well, I was a... going for Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I was I, I, <laughs> a great big rat. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah, I wanted, yeah, I like I wanted a, like just a sleazy, just greasy rat. Do you, I, do you want to try I, that, Matt? <laughs> this this fan sure, this sure. fan fic fiction now takes place between characters that have not been in Gumball. No, yeah, yeah that's, that's where we're at Random. right now. These characters have Random. no relevance to Gumball. No, no. You got some fresh meat on those bones. The rat said, "Yeah, I'd like that." <laughs> the rat <laughs> said, licking the side of his face. I uh, wish I was flame right now. Sexy time. Let's get off. Flame said, kicking the rat's <laughs> knee as hard as he could. The rat screamed in pain and fell backwards. Three more guys showed up. They were a nasty bunch, all unkept and eyes sunken in with blood Hell all over yeah. their clothes. One pulled out a handgun. A handgun? Yeah. Dun dun dun. Uh, like Shut your mouth and come with us. He said, waving the gun around. Flame knew exactly how to deal with this. Flame grabbed the gun's barrel and grabbed the gun's wrist. The guy's oh my wrist. God. <laughs> the biggest guy lunged forward with a tire iron to bludgeon Flame, but Flame dodged it. He snapped the gun man's wrist, taking his gun and flipped the gun man over his back, slamming him into the tire iron wielding psycho. Flame looked at the gun man and showed him the gun. My gun man. Hey, dumbass. 
You forgot to turn off the safety. Flame said, turning off the safety. The last guy was an ugly Komodo dragon with a crowbar. He ran at Flame. Nice. Flame ducked and spin kicked the Komodo dragon's feet. The Komodo dragon fell flat on his back and got the wind knocked out of him. Now, I hope you learn a lesson after this. Flame said, picking up the Komodo dragon by his neck and throwing him to the ground. What are you doing? The gunman asked. Flame then unloaded the entire clip into the Komodo <sighs> dragon's stomach. Badass. He's gonna learn that lesson. He's learning it now. <laughs> Bullets. This is Komodo dragon. Or is it me? No, I think it was uh, could the be either. Ah, could ah. be either. Could be both. <laughs> <laughs> they screamed. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so hard. He then passed out due to being in such immense pain. That must have been the... Uh, yeah, the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it might not have been. Holy shit! Yeah. It, it, yeah, it might be flame. He had such a sort of, like, fucking painful erection. The rat thought to himself, terrified of the cat. He then threw the gun at the tire iron wielder. <sighs> You're the filthiest of the roaches that still crawl around here. I'll let them bleed you out. Wait, what? <laughs> I'll let him bleed out if I were you. Flame said, starting up the bite once again. He grabbed his assault rifle and scanned the area. The rifle men had ran. Oh. I uh. hate this area. Flame said, riding back to his camp. That night, Penny stayed up late. She couldn't sleep. She was paranoid, thinking of her father, the three boys, and Tobias. People are just dying left, right, and left and right, and it almost gets paid no attention, as if they had just moved away for vacation or something. A very long vacation. Every once in a while, you could hear spell wrong. Trades. I was gonna say, who moves away for vacation? Yeah, no. Every once in a while, you could hear trades of gunfire at night. You know when it said people are just dying left and right. Mm -hmm. You know, stand in the middle. We, you you guys fine. put you guys put an, an opportunity for a dad abandonment joke, and Seth didn't take it. Uh, All right, who, who, who moves who moves away for vacation? I was oh. just kind of like, <laughs> I, I had a minute there. Where I was like, you know, where. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, your father, he's just gone out I to get milk. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gumball? Uh, Pen hey, Gumball? Uh, gumball, Gumball. Penny said, shaking Gumball's shoulder. Who was Ace? Was Ace Penny? I no, don't I was, know. I, I, think oh, I, was, I think it was Andrew, and I think I was also Tyrone, or Tyran, or Tyrin, or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah well, but should, just Ace, should we let Ace be Penny as well? Cause sure, not, sure. Not he can be whoever he wants. Yeah, mm -hmm. go on, Ace. Do that, Penny. Oh, 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 Penny? Oh, cool. that's so. I gotta get on my best girl voice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Gumball. Penny, <laughs> Penny said, shaking Gumball's shoulder. Perfect. Huh? What's wrong, Penny? Gumball asked. Do you think life will ever be the same? Penny asked. Well, Gumball notices the sadness in her eyes. Yeah, there's no way life will be like this forever. Gumball. Everything will be exactly the same eventually. Gumball, when we're dead, Gumball couldn't help but think back about, think back about back to the old house. Is that what that <laughs> says? Yeah, that's what that yeah. says. Flashback. Da -da. Flashback. Hey. Thank you. Hey, Darwin, what's the radio saying? Gumball asked, squatting next to the circle of guys listening to the radio. Yeah, circle of guys. Circle of guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know it. The guy, the guy says that over 48% of America is infected with the virus, and the virus has officially spread worldwide. Darwin said, kind of sadly. Cure? Gumball asked. <laughs> <laughs> Cure? Of course not. Tyran said, lying down, no longer interested in the radio. You know what? Next time you go to the doctor. No, I mean the band. Oh, the cure. Why the cure. Radio. Why? Yeah. Well, why did that warrant a fucking flashback oh, scene? That isn't how flashbacks are done. You know, you establish for a flashback or don't. Never mind. Because the cure was playing on the radio. End. Yeah, yeah. Done, done. 
Gumball wasn't sure if he even believed himself. Try going to sleep, hun. Gumball said, wrapping his arm around her. A car alarm went off and a few more shots rang out. Then everything fell silent. The next few days passed by with little to no substance. Just slow days and boring nights. Jack sat in the corner early one morning and realised that Penny, Gumball and Tyran were putting on their headbands. Who the fuck was Jack? Who's Jack? Yeah, I was just going to ask I don't know anymore. Is he the weird guy? Pumpkin King? Remember? Dun, 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 da da dun, 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 da da dun. Jack? I was Jack. I think I was Jack. Something's wrong with Jack. Are you guys... Damn it. What was the voice? <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're it's like, fine. I, I, I was Jack. You don't know who he is. <laughs> <laughs> Are um, you guys leaving? Jack asked. I recognize that voice, so maybe that was it. Maybe, I think maybe. It was something like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, uh, we're going to, okay, we're going to get food and, and more supplies. We'll be back. Don't worry. Tyran said, putting on his backpack and grabbing his gun. You better be back before dark. <laughs> Jack added, staring at his feet. Oh, wow. Flashback. Dun dun. This is going to be good. Hey, um, Jack, I'm scared. We shouldn't be out this late. A boy in green pants said with his eyes darting in all directions. I'm I'm racist. How do you spell that? How do you pronounce that name? Mar Marquis. Mar is it Marquis? I don't know. I have no Marquis. idea. <laughs> yeah, I, think it's, I, think it's, I think it's Marquis. A Marquis, is it? Yeah, Marquis. Because, like, yeah it probably is. Yeah, it would have been IS, wouldn't it, Marquis? Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's not Marcus? <laughs> oh, it is Marcus. Oh, sorry, every... Should we go Marcus? Marcus? I don't know. Okay. Fuck sorry, it, everybody in my country is white and has normal names. <laughs> Marquis. <laughs> yeah. How about Marquis? Marquis. They're all called. They're all called Seth as well in your country, aren't they? Hey, Marcus. Jack said. What? Marcus asked. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think this other boy should probably be... Ace? Yeah, so this is a different boy. Uh, yeah. I think it okay. is. Yeah. Baseball bad boy. Okay, gotta... What is yeah, my motivation? Give me a little bit of backstory on baseball you're bad gonna boy. Be, like, where, you're gonna be, where does well, he come from? Yeah. He, likes he, baseball. Baseball he likes baseball. Baseball bad boy no, has no, a no, baseball no. bat because he has a very small dick and he's insecure oh, about yes, it. Big baseball so bat. my family is a wealthy dowager. I've got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's the one. Uh, dude, he's right. We should go inside. Those guys from the camp might be coming for us. A boy said swinging his very large baseball bat. We're fine, Dale. Jack, Jack said, shivering. You seem cold. Marcus said, smirking. Oh, shut up. Fine, we'll check this house. Jack said, jiggling the doorknob. Now, Dale is the baseball boy? Yes. Baseball okay. boy. Yeah. Dude, this is an old door. I think I can pick it with a paper clip. Dale said, sticking a paper clip in the doorknob. This isn't a silly TV show. You can't just pick locks with the... I didn't realize that when I did this voice, I would be picking locks. That would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Dale said, opening the door and interrupting Jack. Well, fuck me. Jack said, walking inside. As they walked in, a man in the kitchen of the house pulled a gun on the boys. It was a hunting rifle. There's no fucking commas. It was a hunting rifle. Dale tackled the man to the ground. The man grabbed Dale's wrist and threw him aside. Michael started crying. The man reached for the rifle and Marcus kicked the gun and the man grabbed Marcus's ankles and tripped him. Jack notices him. Who is no Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Michael started crying. I don't know. Who the know. fuck is Michael? Wow. Where Just the fuck, know. Where the fuck did Michael come in? <laughs> I don't know. Like, is Michael the boy that, like that, that makes Oh, it must. Oh. 
Oh, I thought Michael I was the saw, kid that I died. Michael's I don't know. I don't well, know. There's, there's know. Dale and there's Jack and there's and there, there's uh, Mark. We don't Ray. know how many people Chip. there are. And mm. there's Jack notices the big handgun on the kitchen counter. He ran to the gun and checked the cylinder. Why is that a capital C? It had no bullets. <laughs> there was a case of forty-four caliber am, am, ammo. He loaded the gun with shaky hands. The boys were fighting the man who was still reaching for the gun. Jack, help! Marcus was interrupted by the man slamming his head into the kitchen faucet. Tap. He was out cold and bleeding from the mouth. Suddenly, Jack felt an overwhelming urge. He loaded the cylinder and aimed it at the man who grabbed the gun and was about to shoot Jack. He was too late. Jack shot twice. The first shot hit the man in the shoulder and the second hit the man in the collarbone. Full stop. Jack walked towards the man. Michael's cries grew louder and louder. Thunder roared as Jack aimed the gun at the man's forehead. Jack! Darwin snapped. Wait a minute. Why when did Darwin Whoa, 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 Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh god. Darwin snapped. What? Jack said startled. Are you okay? Darwin asked. Yes, I'm fine. Jack said, noticing that the three had left for the supply run. <laughs> Come on over here and sit down. You look like you need some rest. <laughs> He looked tense. Darwin said, helping Jack up before he jacked him <laughs> off. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, thanks. Jack said, walking to the circle of friends again and sat next to Andrew. Oh, my goodness. Circle, circle. Mm -hmm. We're all worried about them, Jack, but they'll be fine. They have gumball with them and he... <laughs> <laughs> He's tough. Oh, Ca Carrie said, handing Jack a hot dog. Oh, that Ooh. was cooked the night before. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, a day old hot dog. <laughs> yeah. mm. Jack said, biting the hot dog. Everybody <laughs> sat in silence. Yesterday. <laughs> Everybody said, in silence, eating scraps of food left over. Everybody was scared for their friends, but wouldn't show it. Oh, this is so so tense, isn't it? I think we should should we go on to the next one? I mean, yeah, the, we are the only. The title at, of this like, one was "Embers of Secrecy Glow Dimly." Yeah. What does that mean? Um, what does no anything idea. mean? This you is the most anything. perplexing thing yeah. we've ever read. <laughs> who is who is Michael? <laughs> what does <laughs> this gonna... story even oh, mean? Who is Michael? Hell. Is Michael the dead kid that like got killed? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so that was the f yeah, it could have been. I don't know. How do you kill a dead kid? I don't know. Zombie. You know, he was the kid that was alive, but then he got dead. I don't know. I don't know. Chapter right, eleven. I I thought I gave her a roofie, but it was actually a suicide pill. What am I going to do with her body? Is this another I one of your sick I need some advice on how yeah, to make sure episode. you give them the right classic. roofies, then you got to come over to my house. I'll teach you all the difference between the roofies and the suicide pills. Classic uh, Cosby Grandpa show. Bill Cosby, that doesn't help me now. I've got a dead 10-year-old on the couch. <laughs> Well, well yeah, I don't really know what to do, you see. I got to, just, this way she can't sue you, okay? So just be happy that she can't go to court. Uh, from here on out, I'm only going to pray on orphans. <laughs> Street urchins. Chapter 11, snap back to reality. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, <coughs> a penny, where are you going? <laughs> Tyron Where asked. are we going? <laughs> Tyron asked. To your mom's puddle. <laughs> Deeply bitch. Oh yeah, I was Penny. We're going to take all the food from the burger joint next to the office, then we're going to a nearby home the house depot. So get <laughs> building supplies. Hopefully we can barricade doors to certain areas and set up small places to fight. Penny answered. What the, uh, What's okay. house depot? What's house it's like depot? Home depot, only, they, you know, generic... Does it exist? See, because he's worried. He's worried about being sued. He's, he's worried about copyright here, isn't he? Yeah. Oh Jesus! That's basically, yeah. They have hatchets. And then he went to that massive sort of uh, shop called uh, Bullseye. 
just in case Target. I get of, it. That's a good joke. Yeah, no, they have yeah. hatchets at House Depot. <laughs> oh, Gumball said excitedly. Oh, man, those were all probably taken by now, Tyran said. Well, I'm still going to look for one. Gumball said as they got to the doors of the burger joint. It was desolate. The group searched through the whole joint and only found two bags of sesame seed buns and four pounds of un uncooked burger meat. Mira miraculously not rotten. The reality that <laughs> oh, the reality that that the city was still inhabited by other people really shone through in that moment. Yeah. Oh, burger meat. This isn't nearly enough food, darling. Tyran said, <laughs> shaking the bag. I know, meathead. Penny said furiously. We need to go deeper into the inner city. Gumball said. We can't. I'll just die out there. Tyran said. Just let me get my brother. Gumball said. Fine. We'll get him and go. Tyran said half-heartedly. The group then caught the attention of their friends by throwing pebbles at the window. Lexi let him in. Uh, did something happen? Lexi asked. No, in fact, nothing happened. <laughs> That's like the story. Penny said angrily, going upstairs. Oh, uh, all right. Lexi said, following them into the room. Darwin, not enough food. Put on your headband. We're going in a city. Tyran said, leaving no time for hesitation or questions to be asked. Oh, that voice just reminds me of something, but I can't remember what. <laughs> Got it. Darwin, doctor girlfriend. Doctor said, Dar doctor. Darwin said, putting on his headband. No, wait, Darwin, you can't go. Carrie said, grabbing Darwin's arm. I'll be fine, beard. <laughs> 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 then I'm coming with you Carrie said interrupting Darwin Then put on your headbands and let's go Penny said Jack looked around and started to panic More people are leaving They're going to the inner city They haven't found any food These thoughts ran it's like the other paragraph through his mind. <laughs> he started scratching his neck and his head. He was How do you begging. misspell haven't, by the way? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, just easy. Like this. Just put the posture in the wrong place. Um, he was begging to tear up. He felt an immense amount of stress. He looked around and noticed that nobody else was doing this. He was the only one fearing for his life and theirs, except for one girl who was looking very scared, but was good at hiding it. Lexi. So far, Lexi had been quiet and hadn't, hasn't done much at all. She may have been one of the assailants of his friends, but he couldn't hate her. Flashback. Dun -dun. Jack pulled the trigger of the raging bull, killing the man in the house. His body was cold and lifeless, his eyes more sunken in than they were before. He then heard it, a cry from the living room. A little girl. She had been there all along. Jack stepped back from the man and saw himself through the eyes of a little girl, a monster who broke into her home and killed her father. Oh my God! Marcus said, shivering. Fuck. Dale said, noticing what they had done. Are they gone? The little girl <laughs> asked. The little girl was small, but she had a big voice. She... The little girl was small. She was a small green parakeet. All bird, all, it's obviously now, all bird people in this story worked like Mo Mordecai <laughs> from regular show, by the way. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> yeah, no, Mor okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Uh, or who? Michael. Uh, not, Mike, not just Michael. The Michael. Oh, Who's yeah. Michael? He's the hero. Yeah, please. my big brother fought them all. <laughs> oh, God. You pedo. The Michael said before... Sorry, said with a stare directly at his brother. His piercing... Wonder which brother it was? His piercing amber eyes spoke many words. This time the words fell under the category of... Go along with it or shut your trap. He realised that a door was open, 
Was it a trap door? It was a bathroom door. Michael must have gone in there and bullshitted the story <laughs> until shots started going off. Oh, so he went in there and shitted something. <laughs> bullshit it, yeah, definitely. Even if that were true, how did he hear those cries so loudly? Is anyone following this? No, <laughs> no I, have I have no, no clue. No. <laughs> what the fuck is I happening? have a fidget spinner. Yay! <laughs> have you? Are you, you spinning your fidget now? Yeah. Is it a Five Nights at Freddy's one? Yes, it is. Oh, I want to see it. He's, He's a little fidget fucking spinny. child. I know, that's cool. Guess what, it's my fidget spinny. It's better than a plain one. What, what's actually on it? Don't yeah, say Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, <laughs> so this is Five Nights at Freddy's and it's got a picture of Bonnie on it. Oh, that's sweet. Be- because of course it does. All the ones in this country are sort of plain, all the fidget spinners. I haven't really seen any weird. That, that was by the Queen's decree. If we were about yeah. fidget spinners, they shan't have images on them. Plain, solid colour. Yeah, I don't know. That's right. We stop them. Oh, yeah, we're reading. Not in time. <laughs> Jack said, eyes sinking into the sockets of his skull, leaving what seems to be a shell of a man. The little girl saw her dead father and cried. She wailed and screamed. She ran over to the corpse of her dad and knelt beside it, <laughs> her arms around it. But it had no response. It felt cold. The, hold on, is he just being killed and he's cold now? Mm-hmm. Or was or was he a zombie? The girl didn't stop crying until she went to bed that night in her own home without her father for the first time. Well, he's still there. Body's still there. Jack, what do we do? Dale asked, starting to panic. If it wasn't clear before, Dale was a rough collie and Marcus was a salamander. Of course. Oh, of, course. <laughs> of course. Yeah, we'll, he didn't we'll know that. Sure, sure. Mm-hmm. We all knew mm-hmm. it. <laughs> just, just bring it up right now. <laughs> so it tell you. If you're too fucking stupid <laughs> to all gather it by know. now <laughs> to put the pieces together, oh, we can't no. just leave her here. Come on, come on. We just we can't just leave her here. Marcus we gotta take added. her back to Raymond's house. <laughs> oh, 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 Marcus added. <laughs> no. Listen. We'll just have to look after her, Jack dun, said, dun, dun, dun. with a sinister smile. Flashback ends. Dun, dun. <laughs> Jack went over to his bag and grabbed the 40 from it and went upstairs. Hopefully he will get so drunk he'd just forget about the people leaving and pass out drunk. The team oh regrouped God. downstairs. They dropped off the little food they had and Carrie and Darwin got ready to go. Earlier, Carrie asked Andrew for his handgun so she could go to the inner city with a gun, and he gave it over to her. Wow. Uh, Okay, guys, let's go into the inner city. Penny said, exiting the building. It was still bright outside. Penny checked her watch. It was 2 p.m. We gotta go now. Penny said, walking immediately. Everybody followed behind, walking through alleyways and realizing that plenty of the city was in rubble. Did all this happen while we were in that house? Penny asked herself. Oh my god. Jesus, somebody bombed the shit out of this city. Gumball said, looking around, seeing several buildings with demolished sides and... What? What? Buildings. What, what house were they in that they did not realize shit was yeah. being bombed? And they come outside. <laughs> oh, look. A building falling into ground, scattering all around the city streets. That's no! Seriously, yeah. Penny literally says, "Did this all happen? Did they not know? Did we like, how do this? you not know?" Maybe he just got wicked stoned and like they woke up the next day and like, "Wow." Hey guys, have you ever tried dabs? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the city? Let's keep going. Meanwhile, back at the building, Jack realised that he had to go to the fifth floor to drink because the fourth floor was filled with cubicles that Kayser had taken up. As he, he made can't his drink uh, no. in a cubicle, as that's he, ridiculous. It's just not right. Oh, those alcoholic office workers will not agree with that. As he made his way to the floor, he went inside the room and began opening the forty and sat down in an office swivel chair. He swiveled around and suddenly. He fell backwards. He needs a fidgy spinner. Shit! He exclaimed as he hit the ground, flat on his back, knocking the wind out of him. He got up and he got up eventually and saw that one of the wheels had been broken off. Damn! 
Just my luck. Jack took a swig of his 40 and began to walk to the next cubicle when suddenly a zombie, a big one, jumped right at him from the cubicle. <laughs> a zombie, a big one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a zombie, a big one. That's what it says. Jack thought quick and smashed a 40. 40 is changing the way it's been spelled. Over the zombie's head, sending it back a few steps, Jack looked at his only sweet release from the hell that he's living in and saw that there was none left. Not a drop of alcohol, just a sharp, broken bottle. Damn you. Damn you. Jack said, <laughs> rushing the zombie. He gouged the zombie's eye out, tack tackling it to the ground what the eye and began stabbing the zom stabbing the zombie over and over and over with the broken bottle even the zombie was clearly dead jack continued to stab it in the head until nothing was left but a bloody mess where the head should have been full stop he stood up and threw the bottle and threw the broken bottle at the zombie. Jack was furious. He walked to the edge of the room and lied down to cry. Flashes of his brother, Marcus Dale, and the girl oh, all hit no. him at... Oh, great! Oh. My, my Andrew's back! And the girl all hit him at... He was shaking with anger and confusion. <laughs> what kind of sick god would do this? Jack thought to himself as soon as he said this, a voice responded... God is dead, man. It was Andrew, the man who killed his younger brother. You really fucked that one up. Andrew said, pointing at the zombie. What are you doing here? Jack asked. Ha <laughs> ha! I felt bad you were freaking out earlier when everyone was leaving, and you came up here. Andrew said, taking something out of his pocket. Here, take this. Andrew said, handing Jack a flask. It was engraved and made of solid bronze and gold. Its design was very impressive, almost like the same person who made this flask made King's Chalices. Fucking hell. Thanks. <laughs> Jack said, taking it. What is it? <laughs> Grade A potato drink. Jack said, winking at... Jack said, winking at Jack. <laughs> Winking at okay, yourself. Okay, Jack said that actually. How'd you wink at yourself? So that isn't Andrew who said that. Jack's no, responding sorry. to himself. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm answering sorry, myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grade A potato drink. Jack said, <laughs> winking at Jack. <laughs> it's vodka from Kaiser. <laughs> Whoa, thanks. Jack said, starting to drink from the flask. He's got nuts, isn't he? <laughs> In return, I'd like to talk to you for a bit. Andrew requested. Oh, Have you heard shit. about our Lord and Savior? <laughs> I was just thinking that. Did I just say God is dead? He's not. He's here with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about? Jack asked. Well, for one, to get the elephant out of the room, your brother, I'm so unbelievably sorry for killing him. <laughs> Andrew said, starting to tear up. Forget about it. It was my fault. God, I hate doing this voice. <laughs> I just I switch it up. I tried to confront you guys the way I did. It was my actions that got my brother killed. You just did what anybody would do. Protect. Jack said, taking another swig from the flask. You are correct! Andrew said, still tearing up. Andrew almost never cries. He didn't cry when his father passed away when he was eight. He didn't cry when his brother didn't return home from service when he was 14. <laughs> service. A church My life service. is oh. tragic. And he didn't cry when his mother was lost during the riot of the quarantine zone. But now, now that he was responsible for death, he couldn't help but break down. Wow. What else were you going to ask me? Jack asked. I was going to ask you. Huh, I mean, do you? <laughs> do Andrew you? Took, to, Andrew took I was breath. going to do you. I was going to do you. <laughs> Can I do you? Andrew took a deep breath. Do you ever have nightmares about your brother? <laughs> Jack stood up and looked at and, and looked Andrew in the eyes and hugged him. All of Andrew's life, he had never been hugged by any man other than other than his father and Kaiser. His whole life, it's kind of gay. 
<laughs> it was one of those hugs. His whole life he was taught that having emotional conversations and hugging your friends was just gay. Not manly, even though it was very common in the 40s. For some reason, in this... In the 40s? This <laughs> suit... <laughs> in the, it was, in it the, was very common in the 40s. Back in the 40s, was all about, it was all about jitterbugging and hugging men. A hugging... No it's just a bro job, mate. guys. It's bro. just a bro job. <laughs> For some reason, this suit of manliness that he always wore, his bulging muscles, his enormous size, and his constant display of emotionlessness faded away. He hugged Jack back and began crying more and more. The two were broken, but through friendship found each other whole again. Found Jack each realized... other's whole. The wrong, wrong spelling. <laughs> yes, the wrong spelling, not with a W. Jack realized we're that way. play hide the salami, Andrew, or Jack, or whoever the fuck you are. I don't care Have you ever seen names. a grown man naked? Or would you like to? <laughs> Jack realized... Oh my god, is this chapter over? Uh, soon. Jack realized that when it comes down to it, this team that he tried killing just a few days ago was the best group of friends he could have asked for. Elsewhere, Penny was leading the group into the inner city. Thway had found a pizza, pizzeria, pizza, I can't say that. With pizzeria. Pizza, pizzeria. God, why can't I say pizzeria? We don't have them in this country. It's a pizza restaurant. It's Pizza Express with its windows smashed in there where several zombies banging against the doors. They were banging each other against the doors. Holy shit! Zombies are dumb. They can't even see the smashed-in windows three feet away from them. Tyrone said, snickering. Is there such thing as zombie porn, by the way? I was just thinking about uh, zombies I'm banging sure there the is. Doors. Yeah, okay, I'll be Googling that in a minute. Yeah, but the only thing that, that interests zombies is meat. I think they smell pepperoni. And I want some. Kaiser said. Tyran went up to the grouping of zombies. He grabbed the first by the neck. So it's lifting. not Tyrone? It's Tyran. 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 It says you, Tyrone. You just call him Stanley. Oh, it did. It said, did say Ty Tyrone. You're right. He grabbed the first by... There's another character. Back, grabbed the first by the neck, lifting its jaw up so it couldn't bite him. And he stabbed it in the neck. The second was already getting closer, so he kicked it in the back and threw the, the first... And through the first, the third was getting closer, so he wrapped his hands around the back of its skull and threw it to the ground and curb stomped it until it looked like a pumpkin, pumpkin spice, that just mm -hmm. got its top kicked in the third one was approaching, so he stabbed it in the forehead, sending it to the ground. The first still wasn't dead, so Tyran knelt down beside it and stabbed it in the temple. Jesus Christ. Looks like we're clear. Gumball said. Okay, so when we go in there, we need to stick together like an organized team. Darwin said before he explained the organization. Gumball led the team as they came in. They saw nothing. It was quiet. Carrie went to the back and Tyran followed close behind. There was a young golden retriever wearing an orange shirt, blue shorts, a blue bandana. No! A blue bandana and a no small scar on his forehead. No random characters. Like, small I scar on his forehead. At, at this point, we're just going to be doing our own fucking voices because I swear to God, every fucking few chapters, it's just like... He noticed in the distance there was a man whose name was Charles. He had a gun and an eye patch. Yar, I'm Charles. <laughs> was, I'm, here Charles. To, I, I'm here to live <laughs> with you obvious. now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, small scar on his forehead. Don't you forehead. let them in. The dog said nobody knew what he meant until a sudden burst came from the back room. Zombies began flowing into the room. Too many to count. They all came from the back room. Did I mention the back room? Without hesitation, Gumball rushed to the child to protect him, but was immediately stopped. Tyran pushed him back and tossed the rifle aside and pulled out his knife. Wow. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> get the hell out. Run. Tyran yelled, slashing at the zombies. I just spat all over my monitor. Tyran yelled, slashing at the zombies and stabbing the zombies. Gumball grabbed the dog and jumped out of the window. Everybody followed, but Kayser... Get the get get the hell out of here, you big fucking bear! Tyran yelled as he was bitten in the shoulder. No, no, oh. I can't just leave you here yet. You. <laughs> <laughs> I need to use his phrase. Can we all use his phrase tomorrow? 
what the phrase that Seth is about to use. This is the best phrase ever. I can't just leave you here, you ass raptor. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, right now. That might just be ass the title raptor of the show. Is my new, that is the episode the title, Ass, ass raptor. raptor. The episode title could be, I can't just leave you here, you ass raptor. That could be the title of the show. Oh, oh my Kesa, god! Casey yelled Oh back. my god! No! Ace, 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 we're trying to get to the end of this. Just don't be an ass raptor. Let me get to the end of it, please. I, is that what you ass call like, like, a, like an aging gay man? Like, you know, he's, 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 he's archaic, he's a dinosaur, he's an ass raptor. Oh, no, no, you know what? I thought I thought that was a, 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 a young, sort of fit uh, gay man. He's very, very quick, and he's like, sort of... Always, ch- all the always time. chasing the kids around in the kitchen. Yeah, indeed, yeah, and the kids are hiding there, and you can see the reflection of him approaching. Oh, can guys, we've got to finish this easily. chapter. We're so close. <laughs> Kaiser yelled back as he was bashing in the skulls of several zombies. Then more came from the window. The final exit was the window to the left of Kaiser. At this point, Tyran was screaming and could no longer speak. He was being bitten and devoured. Oh, no. And he no longer could fight back, but yelled one last thing as Kaiser broke and ran to the window. Oh, Tyran. Tell Jack I've got an antidote. <laughs> it was then a zombie viciously tore into Tyron's neck and he could no longer yell mm-hmm. only watch and wait for death Kaiser made a mad dash for the group barely holding in his lunch he was holding Tyron's rifle with his rifle slinged over his back did he make it out? nope wrong voice look at the name oh yes a new character <laughs> did he make it out? <laughs> Gumall yelled Gumal. 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 <laughs> of course he didn't, dumbass. <laughs> you ass raptor. Casey yelled back, shaking with horror. Uh, oh, holy shit. <laughs> Darwin's head leaning against a car. <laughs> He's dead. He's, he just died. Penny said, pressing her fingers to her temples, trying to remove some stress. It's all your fault. You got him killed. Look what you've done. He's never coming back. Sudden flashes of her father came back mixed in. No, with Daddy, his... please don't. <laughs> of what she could only imagine is happening to Tyran. Oh, what? He's getting attacked by an ass raptor. She broke down. Pen, 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 <laughs> pen. Ah. <laughs> Penny began screaming so loud you could hear it echo through the city streets she had completely Not lost it. Not in my it. guts, Daddy. Not in my guts. <laughs> Gumball ran over and hugger her cover, cover and hugger mm-hmm. her covering her mouth. Penny. Should that be bugger her? I don't know. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Penny. No, no. <laughs> Penny. T- teddy Penny. bears can't absorb that much tears and sweat. <laughs> Penny, shh. If they hear us, we'll die. Said her dad. Gumball said, panicking. Penny was crying, tears streaming down her face. What would she tell Jack? What would she tell the group? What could she say other than she killed Tyran? We have to go now. Darwin said as zombies began surrounding them. Kaiser raised his rifle to the zombie farthest away so he wouldn't have to deal with it later when suddenly the zombie was cut down several zomb- the zombie was cut down several zombies were then gunned down and a large alligator no, no large crushed alligator the, uh, crushed the skull of a zombie with a sledgehammer it went clean through the skull and got stuck between the zombie's collarbones it fell to its knees and landed on its side everything happened so fast almost in the blink of an eye soon enough the group realized they were no longer surrounded by zombies but by other survivors the alligator was the alligator the alligator wearing a distinct blue headband on his wrist it's not a headband if it's, if it's on it's your wrist, wrist. It's a grab him and get, grab him and bag him, boys. The alligator said, walking straight towards Gumball. Gumball's dun, dun, dun. point of view. Why are we doing Gumball's point of view for just one line? <laughs> you know, it's, it was a good line. 
Hey, man, what the hell? Gumball exclaimed. He was then hit in the back of the head, fading in and out of consciousness. He saw the pavement, and then nothing. End of chapter oh 11. Oh, my God. Can I just say, have, like, for zombies, having a sledgehammer as a weapon is worse than having nothing. Ah, oh, it's bad, isn't it? Alligator, alligator. I don't know what to say. That was tough, wasn't Sounds it? Sounds sleazy. Well, uh, you know what? Before we all go on a complete downer and we all become ass raptors, I'm going to use the healing power of my beard and remind you all that if it looks like magic, it is not magic. It is science or worse, so deal with it. I, I don't know I'm reading it like the fucking fan fiction. There are commas and full stops in here. I am not a motherfucking kid. R.I.P. Uncle Mike, see you all next week. Goodbye. Say goodbye, you goodbye. bunch of ass goodbye. raptors. Say bye, bye everyone. Ass raptors. Goodbye, ass raptors. Ass raptors. Ass raptors. Ass raptors. Ass raptors.